The Big Top is coming down on the greatest show on earth. After 146 years in operation, the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus is coming to an end. But before that could happen, there was one more show to go. And that happened right here at the Nassau Coliseum on Long Island. Who's ready for the greatest show on earth? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are and we will always be the greatest show on earth and we thank you for coming on out tonight to this historic occasion. The Ringmaster welcoming the crowd to the final performance of the Ringling Brothers in Barnum and Bailey Circus in Uniondale, New York. Feld Entertainment, which owns the circus, announced earlier this year in January that it would be bringing down the big top for good. And as the lights went up in the Nassau Coliseum, it revealed lions and tigers, trick performers, high-flying trapeze artists doing death-defying tricks, and there was even a woman being shot out of a cannon. It was all a sight too implausible to seem real, yet such an iconic piece of Americana that it's impossible to believe that the show will not go on. In recent years, declining ticket sales all started to take a toll, and then just last year, amid growing criticism, from animal rights groups. The circus stopped using elephants in all of its shows, and that meant sales dropped even further. The circus, with its 500-person staff of performers, animal handlers, and setup crew, all now became unsustainable. The decision to drop the Big Tent coming just months ago, with many hoping there would be a last-minute reprieve, only to find out that no rescue would be coming. Even now, many believe the circus will somehow return, perhaps retooled and rebranded, a better fit for the technological age. But until then, a deafening roar from the crowd gave performers a parting gift, an indication that the circus will be missed and will live on in the hearts and minds of children and adults alike. On Long Island, New York, I'm Monica Guy.